afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. To the principal, Ms. Keisha Douglas, the PE department at Her here at the Barkley <coughs> Institute, president of the BNAA, my coaches, family and friends, and, invi and other invited guests. Thank you for coming here and, and sharing here, sharing this moment with me. Currently, I'm on the path of completing my high school education here at the Barkley Institute. I can say these years have, been, have flown by fast. They included some tough times, but I'm glad to say that I'm here to celebrate successes as well. When I was a child, my mother taught me this quote from the Pulling Hill. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe it, and believe it can achieve. I practically live by this quote. And I want to take this time to encourage others to believe that you can achieve your dreams as well. Because dreams don't work unless you do. <laughs> Working hard is what I have done and what I will continue to do. Today, I am glad to announce that I will be attending the University of Georgia in Athens, USA. <laughs> I will be attending in the fall 2018 on an athletic scholarship. This dream is a, is, this is a dream come true. I've always wanted to compete at a high level after high school and to have the opportunity to do it at UGA is awesome. UGA has one of the best programs in the USA. I can't wait to be a part of their legacy. Getting to this point is special and I couldn't have done it without my support system. I would like to take this time to thank them all. Firstly, to God for my talent and the continuous blessings. My mother and family, coaches, co oh, coaches, Coach Demerit in the Bahamas, who has spotted my talent since the, since, and set me on this path. Coach Cal Simons and the Bermuda Paces family. Coach Latoya Darrell, my current coach, Rohan Simons, who has taken myself and the Bermuda High Jumpers to the next level. To the BNAA and BOA for supporting my support, for supporting my athletics to the next level oh, on an international level. level. Coach Freddie Evans, who guided me through this overwhelming recruiting process, the entire Barkley family, and finally to my future coaches at UGA. Go dogs! <laughs> Members of the press, have you got any questions? Sakurai, why, why did you pick UGA? Why did I pick it? I felt very comfortable at UGA, especially um, being going to be surrounded by other great people like Maddie, Maddie, Fag, Fag, Fagan, Fagan, mm -hmm. and um, Tatiana, um, and the coaches. They're just very comfortable and loving. And I just feel like it can take me to the next level. You, you visited other schools, but this one stood out for you. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, what are some of the things you're going to be taking there that you've learned here that can actually put you to that next level that you're looking oh to? <laughs> <laughs> you. I'm going to def definitely take my hard work ethic, my positive character that I share with my friends, and just positivity, because that's all, that's, that's just all. That's what we all need. That's what we all need to go through life. Are you excited about jumping? I am very excited to jump at UGA. I just, yeah. Kevin, but it sounds like you can't wait to get started. No, I can't wait. It's, I know it's going to be a great opportunity, an exciting opportunity, new, a, new, a new journey that I know is going to be great. Now that you've made this decision, feels like the real of your shoulders. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's, it's, it's going to be great, yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Sakari, so, what other schools were you considering? Um, I was considering other great schools such as North Carolina, Chapel Hill, Vanderbilt University, and Texas A&M. And Georgia. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Do you know what your major will be yet? Um, right now I'm thinking about business, around a business major, like entrepreneurship, or sports management, really. I just want to make sure I'm involved in sports because that's my love, and I want to help other people like go through life and succeed through sports, kind of. Awesome. 
Yes. Do you have a question for Scar? If you don't mind standing, sorry. Um, have you ever considered being a PE teacher? Oh boy, <laughs> hardest question. Um, I don't know. I really don't know, but I know that it can. Um, it's another opportunity to help um, children through sports, and I know you have done it too with me. Thank you. Okay, uh, so Karen, I'll give you a pen, and we'll do a. Oh, we've got pen. We'll do a photo opportunity for the uh, press. I, I must say that it's a very, very, very proud time in not just my life, but I think in Bermuda's life. Yes. Because this has been coming on for a, a very long time. I mean, Sakari was a part of my, my original group, you know, and I, I kind of named them Attacking Vertical because I looked, I looked at their lives and what they were doing, and I thought that it was fitting to say, okay, we're gonna attack it vertically. We're gonna go higher, you know? It, and you always have somewhere higher to go. You know, so I'm just a stepping student, you know, dug into a higher level in college now, you know, and their, their coaches are going to give them stuff that, hey, I might not, not have the resources to, but at the same time, she has a beginning, a beginning, you know, and that's what I love about this. We have Janai outside, his in August, or his love in it, you know, and, and it, it makes me very, very, very proud where Sakari is concerned that she was only 13 when I, when I came on the scene, you know? And now look at her, a young woman, a Bermudian woman, you know? And this is what, I love this. Credit to Mr. North, right? I love this. This is the first time I've actually been in this environment where it's press. We need to do this more often, yeah? It's a lot of negativity going on in the world right now, but this, we, we should revel in this, you know? We should know that this young lady right here is one of the best in the world. And where does she come from? Right in Bermuda, you know? So that's all I have to say. Oh, and I, I have to say one other thing. Credit to this very, very, oh, I, I got, I got, I know, seriously, I could say too many things about Sabrina. And they're all good. It's all good. All wonderful, all wonderful things. Uh, seriously, she is someone that I, if anyone wanted a, a, a perfect mom for the daughter or son or whatever, that's where you want to look, you know? That's where you want to look because she is ambitious. She knows what she wants. She encourages, you know, and we had our ups and downs all through it. But I'm going to tell you, it's more ups than downs. Trust me, more ups than downs. She knew she wanted Sakari to go to college. She entrusted me with Sakari's future. And I, I want to thank you, thank you for entrusting me with her future. And now she gets to do this. I'm very, very, very proud right now. I would just say everyone knows I'm very proud of Sakari. Um, this recruiting process, though, I feel like I need to say that it opened my eyes to the vast opportunity that sports brings to an, a student athlete. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what sport Anaya's going to do because she seems like she's into dance. But I think if we can get every kid into sports so that they can just see, they go to college on another level than us normal people. And I just wish that for every kid because it would be an amazing opportunity. So get your kids signed up in sports now. <laughs> that would be my like greatest, like I, I couldn't believe the, the resources and the the support that they have as a student athlete at that level in university. And I'm really grateful for the experience. Yeah. I would also like to say that I'm extremely proud of Sakari. I've seen her from when she used to wear diapers <laughs> to the young lady she is now. Um, she was quiet, shy, and then she turned into this first competitor. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
I thought I had something to do with her competitiveness because I competed her with everything. You know, her mama's time, whether it be playing cards, like whatever. I make a competition out of whatever. And she would be there to be like, yeah, yeah, Uncle Dion, well, I'm going to show you up. More times I won, but, you know, that's how it goes. But not only is she, like, um, good in academics and good in sports, but she is a, a very humble individual, like not boasty, not conceited, like, you know, like level, down to earth. And that's what's going to make the difference in her sporting career, in her career period, like, because you have a lot of people who are talented, but they have bad attitudes and the conceited. And coaches, they don't look for that. They look for the one who's coachable, right? The one who's got potential and they can push a long way. And that, that's Sakari. So I'm not surprised that um, she's a success, to be honest with you, because she, she's worked extremely hard. Mother, too. Like, her mother would do every and anything for her children. So when Rohan says this is the best mom in the world, he's not exaggerating. Oh, wow. example and a role model to our younger athletes that are coming through the program. Absolutely. Continue on. May God bless you. Thank you. National Athletics Association, we would like to congratulate you, Sakari. You have been a success for us, as you know, whenever you've traveled, whenever you've competed, we can always depend on one athlete to bring us back a mountain. <laughs> and from the bottom of my heart, I mean, I'm, I feel really teary right now. Mm -hmm. I am so excited, and Rohan, I'm so excited for you. Janai out there, now you've got Sakari, and I know there's more high jumpers. You've got Elijah, you've got so many high jumpers in there, stable, as you say that I know we're going to be coming here again, probably sure. in the years to come, with you sitting up there next to your athlete. I am just so pleased whenever I see an athlete getting this opportunity, because that opportunity I have, and that's the reason I do what I do. It really, really makes me feel yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Classmates know that it's a full ride and what that full ride consists of, like from a financial point of view. Okay. So I um, get my scholarship covers. My scholarship covers my books, board. Um, what is it? Books, board. Tuition. <laughs> Tuition. <laughs> in a, 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 I mean, practically everything, but besides my personal expenses. It covers everything. Right, yeah. Everything. yeah. Right. I can't, I don't know the number. $45,000. Yeah. 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 Yeah